Texture is one of the most important elements to any song. The reason texture is so important is because it provides context to a song. Even though it can go unnoticed because it's pretty subtle and pretty turned down in the mix, it's incredibly important from taking your track from average to good and from good to great. So in this tutorial using stock logic sounds, I'm gonna be breaking down how you can make pro level sounding texture for free. All right, let's jump into it. So I have an empty project right here. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull up Alchemy. So I'm gonna head over here to my instruments. Boom. The texture is a component of a lot of different things, but we're gonna be going for right now is a smooth synth pad sound. So we're gonna come down here to pads. You're really able to filter it to get as specific as you want with the kind of sound you're looking for. So I'd recommend definitely diving in, looking through all these presets until you find something that you like. So what I'm gonna do right now. All right, I found this texture called Autumn Haze. Let's record a part with this. Now this is very basic, but that's kind of the point with a texture. You don't want it to be taken too much of the center stage. You want it really sitting back. And the best way to make it sit back is to just keep it simple. We don't just have to use synth sounds to make a pad though. I like to throw in some Mellotron sound to give it more of an organic feel. I'm gonna come over here and let's pull up a Mellotron. That already sounds kind of cool. Again, we don't want this to be super in your face though. And right now, the sound is standing out a lot. So what we can do to water the sound down is just add a bunch of reverb. Let's throw on some silver reverb. I'm gonna add in two reverbs. So we have a short reverb and a long reverb, really pushing this back in the mix. I'm gonna play a melody line that kind of interacts with these chords. Let's record it. I'm gonna add some EQ to make this sit even better. I'm liking this, it's sounding dark, it's sounding moody, a little angsty, it's cool. Let's add some high bell texture to this. So let's look for a stock pad sound we can use. Simple square bells, maybe this could work. Really any bell sound will work for this if we just tweak the settings. So let's go into Alchemy and just adjust some of these settings to make it be a little bit more transparent in the mix. I'm liking how that's sounding. Let's just throw a bunch of reverb and delay on this and then record a part. A few minutes later. I'm gonna throw a piano melody on top of this to hear how it would sound in the context of an actual mix. Let me break down what I just did for you guys. So I came up with this piano melody. And then I actually layered it with a synth melody. So it sounds pretty good together, but when we add the atmosphere in, the rest of the texture, check it out. that you enjoyed this tutorial. If it was helpful to you, hit the like button, subscribe. Have a great day. Peace.